Hello, Tyler here from Super 8 TV, and today I'm going to show you how to install some of Super 8 TV's heavy duty, fully adjustable A arms onto a Polaris Razor. We get a lot of calls asking about how to properly set up these pivot blocks, or where's a good starting point. The easiest way to go about that is to remove the A arms off your machine, grab one of the lower A arms, and pull a measurement from the center of your ball joint housing to the center of the pivot tube. You want to do that on both the front side and the back side. Get those numbers, write them down so you have them there to reference to. Jump over here to your Super ATV A-arm, pull the same measurement. With our A-arms, we have these adjustable pivot blocks to allow you to set the camber to your specification. Whether you want positive or negative camber, these allow you to do that. For those of you that don't know what camber is, let me explain. Camber is the amount of degree that your tire is tilted in or out at the top in relation to the bottom of the tire. As you can see here behind me, I've done some fancy Photoshop work to draw you guys a picture to show you just what I'm talking about. As you can see here in this first picture, we have zero camber. Zero camber means that that tire is standing straight up and down in relation to the ground. Negative camber is when the top of your tire is leaning in. Positive camber is when the top of your tire is leaning out. Zero camber is going to be what most of you all want to run. This is a great general purpose, all around performance setting. Going to give you optimal straight line acceleration. And treat most riders watching this very nicely. Negative camber comes into play, playing on motocross tracks, doing some high speed riding, quartering. When you really want to get your cornering traction down, you're going to want to throw a little negative camber in the machine. To better paint that picture for you, say we're playing on a motocross track and we have our machine set at zero camber. We're coming into a left hander and this right side tire coming into the turn all the way to the machine, the suspension flexing, it's trying to make that tire flex out. So when you're going through that turn at zero degrees, it's taking you out into the positive camber range not giving you that optimal traction pad on the ground you're more so riding on this outer edge of the tire not giving you the traction you need you throw a little bit of negative camber in on it now when you come ripping into that turn that tire is going to stand more straight up and down and give you that contact match on the ground that you want to give you the optimal traction to rip out of that corner positive camber haven't found a lot of good uses for it. it. Seems to make a razor want to push in the corners. So here at Super ATV, we recommend going anywhere between zero and negative three degrees camber to achieve a nice sweet spot that you'll be happy with the riding characteristics of your machine. Taking these measurements you got from this AR, applying them here, that's going to get us really close to the ballpark of where we want to be. So once we get it back on the machine, we'll fine tune it from there. off this machine the same rules apply for removing a factory a arm or whatever the same concept to get the a arms off so now when we get to this point when we have our factory a arms off or some other a arms now it's time to set up super atv's a arms with these adjustable pivot blocks to achieve the camber we're after once again we're going to get the tape measure make sure we have these laid out in the same orientation and we're going to measure from the center of the ball joint housing the center of the pivot tube. It's like we have 23 and a half. So we're gonna jump over here, Super ATV's AR, pull the same measurement. 23 and a half. 
These have already been on the machine, so they're set. But just to achieve that, you're going to take this, make sure your jam nut's loose, and you're going to rotate this so you achieve that number. And once you get those set, do the front, come up here, measure the back, get that number, jump over here, do the same thing, get that number. Once you get them where you're pretty happy with it, sit it on a flat table, make sure they're sitting there nice, and just finger tight these nuts, because more than likely we're gonna have to mess with them again. This is just gonna get us a rough ballpark, get us very close to where we need to be, but to fine tune it, we're gonna have to do that on the machine. So once you get these set, install it back on the machine, and we'll go from there. Now that we have the A-arms installed on the front of the machine, it's now time to grab an angle finder and place it here on your rotor and see just where we are at to see with our camber. We like to place them around zero to negative two degrees camber, but that's gonna change depending on the application, whether you're a hill climber, short course racer, desert racer, whatever. This machine gets used for trail riding, so I'm gonna set it around two degrees negative camber. I'm looking at it, we're pretty well there. These were already on the machine. I just want to show you guys how easy it is to change the camber with Super ATV's heavy duty fully adjustable air arms. So we're sitting at negative two degrees camber, but say I want to take it closer out to zero. It'll give me a little more positive camber. You saw in the video, we left the nut off this lower spindle bolt. And also left the nuts off these upper A, these lower A arms. We're able to pull this out. And since I said I'm at negative two degrees camber and I want to bring it in a, a degree or so and try to get more the tires standing straight up and down, I'm going to screw these in. That's going to bring the bottom of the tire in and the top out. So make your adjustments, screw them in or out. Come back over to your machine. It's literally that easy. You saw how quick it was to change the camber angle on this machine. This goes across the board with all Super ATV's fully adjustable A-arm. It allows you to change the camber angle to accommodate your riding style. We're gonna button this thing up.
questions, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427. Hope this video helped. Have a great day.